so what's up guys welcome back to my channel welcome to another delivery video with uber eats and my doordash bag ah. i'm at the starbucks that i always start my day off at but i'm waiting for a friend to pull up because we're meeting for coffee first it is sunday and i'm gonna be doing a long uber eats delivery day i have no plans today so we're just gonna see how long i could drive and see how much money i can make All right, so now it is 9.37 and I made my way over to a diner. Um, I know this diner is very busy during breakfast time, so I'm gonna wait here for a little bit. We hung out for like an hour. I didn't know it was gonna take that long, but we haven't seen each other in so long, so the time just flew by. I just wanna tell you guys, like I know people are busy and time just flies by, so make sure you're keeping in touch with those you love friends or family like just send them a message every now and then just say hey what's up i was thinking about you how's it going she reached out to me a few days ago and i was like yes let's meet at starbucks <laughs> So that was two orders for IHOP and I am so surprised there was parking and the orders were already ready. Like, what? Head to your drop off. Wait, it's 10 minutes away. Oh, it's an apartment. And then it shows me the second one is right down the street. Gotta love these apartments. La, la, la. All right, so I just dropped off the second order and the dude asked me to leave it on the doorstep, which makes me so nervous when people do that because I gotta like triple check that it's the correct house. I don't know. Do y'all get messages like that often? Because it just makes me so nervous. Like, like I'm doing something wrong and I'm not. I'm just putting it on their doorstep, but like, I don't know. I, I'd rather just see the people to make sure like it's them. But people have different reasons why they don't want to answer the door. Either they're ordering it for their kids or something. And they want the kids to get the food after I leave. Or, I don't know, like people have anxiety. They don't want to talk to people or see people. I completely understand. I just get nervous like I'm doing something wrong. And I know I'm not. So I got lucky finding parking when somebody was pulling out, but I waited 15 minutes for a small little order. So let's see where I'm taking it. Head to your door. All right, 11 minutes and deliver to door. All right, so now I'm posted up by five guys and there's a Moe's right here too. I had three orders come through that I had to decline. They were with the um, Uber Eats pay card but I don't have the card with me, so I had to decline them. And then it logged me off. It never did that before. I never declined three in a row, but it logged me off. I see some of y'all in the comments saying that that happened. And what well, happened to me now? So I had to log back on. I'm right outside these two restaurants. So hopefully I get an order soon. It's been a pretty smooth morning so far. There is this blue area again. I asked you guys in my last video, what does that mean? Because i never seen it before in my area. But y'all let me know that it means it's busy in that area. I don't feel like driving. I don't feel like, like leaving my area and driving over there, even though it's like a few streets away. I'm just going to stay right here because I know these restaurants, like, as soon as I park, normally I get an order right away. So I'm gonna wait here for probably 10 minutes. If not, I'm gonna head over there. Okay, apparently now I'm in the blue. I didn't even have to go anywhere. It just changed. All right, so now I know I'm gonna get an order soon. That is blinding me, bro. Um, I got a B12 shot along with like a cocktail of, those four shots total. They called it a cocktail, which was pretty cool, but it was, 
up guys all right see five guys i didn't even have to drive anywhere but it was a cocktail of four different shots and you know b12 if like let me know if you got that before um i used to take it like vitamin wise like pill wise but it's supposed to give me like a boost of energy and help with being sluggish and the, one of the other shots i can't remember what they were but one of the other shots was supposed to help with weight loss and i don't know they said the only i was worried about like feeling weird the next day but honestly i feel amazing the only thing that sucks about it is it lasts like a week and a half is what they said depending on your metabolism it only lasts a week and a half which kind of sucks so i'll just have to go back and get another shot but yeah let me know if y'all got the b12 shot and if you tell if you could tell like a big difference because so far i think i could tell a big difference unless it's just like playing a mind trick with me they give out the greasiest bags bro so i just put a blah huh, what so I just picked up yet another IHOP order. It's a big one, but look at this car. Like, they fancy, huh? All right, so it's one o'clock now. I wasn't really starting to get hungry, but I know I need to eat. So I got me a tropical smoothie. I got me a weird combination, you guys. I really wanted peanut butter, but I added it to Sunrise Sunset, which is mango, pineapple, orange juice and strawberry i think i don't know it's a weird combo all i taste is mango and peanut butter which is very weird i'm gonna turn the app off for a little bit and like call my husband and i'm gonna walk into a store because i feel like i need to get out of my car <laughs> so and i want to see if they have what i need so i'm gonna do that and then i'll see you guys when i get my next order all right, so I moved. I'm at $51 now. I have been driving around for a good 15 minutes, not getting anything. There's no blue cloud thing where it tells you that it's really busy. Like, I'm not getting anything. It's 2 o'clock now. Does it slow down at 2? I don't know. I think I'm usually, like, done by 2. <laughs> But last Sunday I started driving at three and it was popping. So is this just like a slow time right now? I don't know. So I'm thinking about heading home and maybe taking the kids to the park because it is so beautiful out today. Yesterday it was freezing. We did some running around and got like some groceries, boring adult stuff. And I really, really want to take my kids to the park because it is such a beautiful day so since it's so slow I mean I I rode five more minutes between this clip and the last clip and it's so slow so I just I don't want to be out here wasting time so I'm gonna go home if I do end up coming back out it'll be in this video I don't I don't count on it I'm just gonna keep it real with y'all and it's getting slow so I'm gonna go home you got to know when to stop because if I would sit around for another hour or so waiting for an order I'm wasting time wasting gas so I'm gonna be smart and head home I love filming when I do these deliver videos because I feel like you guys are in the car with me and some of you had said when you go out to deliver and you're waiting on orders you watch my videos and you feel like I'm in the car with you so that's kind of cool and I'm sorry if this video seems all over the place. I was planning on having like a lot of trips. That's why I didn't show many details about the trips. And I just wanted to like pop in here and there. But if I'd have known I was just going to drive for like what three and a half hours. I think four hours. I would have been more into detail like I always am. So <laughs> I don't know. I hate when my videos feel like they're all over the place, but I'm just trying to keep it real with you guys. Like, it's slow and I don't want to waste my time. I just messaged my husband. I was like, do the kids want to go to the park? And he's like, yes, we're getting ready now. So that's going to be it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Please give it a thumbs up and I will see you in my next video. Bye.